we got the BFA 306 it's 830 euros it's more expensive than yours and we're gonna check it in detail and get the balancing rate you really curious centering you know two cheeks they are connected not in the middle but here at 12 o'clock so this means both stumps have to be aligned and you can twist them maybe you know my LML crank it's hilarious LML crankshaft video so let's just check it out see this right I'm gonna zoom in it's below 0 0.01 Yeah, start the side is perfect. You can check this with simple tools, it's no problem. If you cannot verify what's promised, it's not real. You see, here it's also below 0 0.01. Centering, very good. Clutch side, crank stump. Oh, look at that, even though we're using the shell, it's just two, which means the stump is definitely okay. We're checking now the straightness of the stump on the outside. It's not so easy because it's a cone. But one two is fine. If you just knock a bit with a one kilo copper hammer. Because original PX125 200 engines, God, this thing is heavy. They don't give a shit if you knock with a one kilo hammer. Two knocks, they don't care. Oh, according to the sound, this crank is not impressed with the one kilo copper hammer. You can already hear it if you knocked quite some crankshafts. You can hear how the connection between cheeks are. You see? Not impressed. Let's knock it off. This side also looks very good. Let's knock it off. There's where the convert sits. I just put it down and I'm gonna knock here. More. You can hear it when it sounds complete, when it sounds very light, metalish. Yeah, this is a very good crank. Let's check out the static balancing rate as it has quite some heavy metal insets. One, two, three, four. That's impressive. I mean, come on. It's 800. For 800, you get complete. Vespa tuning setup, do you? And in every position, the crank should stand still. The simplification with it has to stop at 12 o'clock is bullshit. I made another guy look it up. It's complete bullshit. It doesn't mean anything. It's a marketing gag. The trick is to find the weight where it still stops in every position and doesn't fall down. I of course tried it before so that's the
correct weight, not to bore you. One o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, six, seven, nine, no, it still falls down. Eleven and twelve. This is the weight where the conrod still stops in every position. If you just add two small washers, it will not stop anymore. It will fall down. So we now have the weight, and we can calculate the static balancing rate. Cheers guys, how's it going? Boys and their toys, I've got something new to play with. Something heavy. What it is? What is this? Sip. Do we get stickers? The most important thing, stickers. It's a monster crankshaft. Oops. It is the BFA 306 crankshaft. Let's have a look at it. Screw nut. Washer. Special washer. Ooh. Distance shell. Proper two thing. Balanced. I'm very curious about the static balancing rate. One, two, three, four, five. The other side. Same side. Forged Conrad. Even two holes for lubrication. It's at the bottom. Sliced for lubrication, but not weakened here. That's good. So different ones. Same here. Not weakened. This looks good. How is it? Uh huh. Shall we measure that? How much is it? Let's put it to one side. It is 0 0.5 millimeters. So 0 0.25 on both sides. Oh, that sounds reasonable. That's fine. <laughs> you see this? Wait, so out. You see this? Such a monster crank, and look at this. Of course, as it is still a West Benji, a tiny stutters stump like a standard Tameni crank here. <laughs> the big question with this expensive stuff I mean, this engine is about 7,000, 6,000 material without any work. Is it on the road faster than just a Quattrini 244 setup? Is it? We'll find out. Little difference, huh? <laughs> no toothing. It's just the wood roof key here. And it is way thinner, so 
that's needed for a lot of power, just a bigger crankshaft than pictures. Beast! Sorry. Bist du deppert? Ist das ein Beast jetzt? 